let's take a look at what happens if transcription has started even though it shouldn't have started, that is that there's high tryptophan concentration in the cell. Now, if that's the case, then we've got region 1, which has been made here, and it's got its two tryptophan codons, UGG, UGG, right here. There's plenty of tryptophan around. That means there's plenty of charged tryptophan transfer RNAs around. So as the ribosome goes through region 1 here, there's no problem. Ribosome moves through here quickly. goes through there, translates this little peptide, 14 amino acid peptide, which by the way has no function in the cell, it gets made, it later gets uh, hydrolyzed back to free amino acids, but it gets through there, goes through to the stop codon, and then it continues moving along as the RNA is being produced. And the RNA, remember RNA polymerase is out here transcribing this. As the RNA is being made, the ribosome is following right along behind, so it quickly moves into region 2. So there's the, there's the ribosome in region 2. Now, RNA polymerase continues transcribing. It makes region 3. Region 3 can't pair with region 2 because there's a ribosome in the way. So here's region 3 sitting here. Meanwhile, region 4 then gets transcribed. Region 4 is available. Region 3 is still available because it couldn't pair with region 2. 3 and 4 pair. Now, regions 3 and 4 are followed by a series of U's in the RNA. What is this thing? This is an intrinsic terminator of transcription. So here's RNA polymerase. Well, let's see. Here's the, here's the DNA right here. RNA polymerase is up here transcribing this, not to scale. RNA polymerase gets to this point. 3-4 stem loop binds in the allosteric site, and RNA polymerase causes it to pause. These U's are held to the template strand by, these are AU pairs, have only two hydrogen bonds apiece, weak AU pairs break, this comes out, transcription stops. Without ever getting to trip E, D, C, B, and A, the structural genes that are out there. So because the tryptophan level was high, the ribosome was able to get through region 1 quickly, got to region 2, Preventing 2 and 3 from pairing, allowing 3 and 4 to pair, 3 and 4, because they're followed by a series of U's and other characteristics of 3 and 4, form an intrinsic terminator of transcription, RNA polymerase stops. And all you get transcribed is just the little leader region. Now, let's go back and take a look at what happens when the tryptophan level is low. So here we have, and this is the circumstance when it would be advantageous to the cell to go ahead and transcribe the entire polycystronic messenger, make the enzymes make more tryptophan. So when tryptophan levels are low, first thing that happens here is region 1 in the RNA gets transcribed, and here are these two trip codons, and the ribosome gets to those. And now, there's very little tryptophan available in the cell. So there aren't very many tryptophan transfer RNAs with tryptophans on them available. And as a result, the ribosome takes time to get through here. It sits there because it takes time for the tryptophan transfer RNAs to show up. While the ribosome is sitting there, region 2 is transcribed. Region 2 is transcribed. The ribosome isn't on there because it's still sitting back here. Region 3 is transcribed. 
2 and 3 can pair because the ribosome is still back in region 1, sitting around waiting for tryptophan transfer RNAs. 2 and 3, although this forms a stem loop, that's not a an intrinsic terminator of transcription. What follows 2 and 3? Region 4. Not rich in use. This is not a good thing to break off of the template. So if you're doing the transcription here, and here's the DNA, here's RNA polymerase, this is not a transcription terminator. So transcription continues. RNA polymerase transcribes the whole rest of the operon, making the polycystronic messenger that then can be translated to give you the polypeptides, EDC, BNA, makes the enzyme, you make more tryptophan. Point here is the concentration of tryptophan controls how fast the ribosome can get through region one of the leader. If there's low tryptophan and the ribosome stalls here, that allows two and three to pair. That's not a terminator, allows transcription to continue. If there's a lot of tryptophan, the ribosome goes right on through region one, gets into region two, because the ribosome's in the way, two and three can't pair, which means three is still available when four is transcribed. Three and four would pair and form a transcription terminator. So high tryptophan, you get termination, early termination of transcription right at this point. Low tryptophan, transcription continues all the way through the polycystronic messenger.